right, in this last video, we're going to be fo focusing on vertical angles, and those are angles across from each other when two lines intersect. So our vertical angle postulate that we learned tells us they will always be congruent, which remember means they will have equal measures. Okay, so these two angles across from each other will have equal measures. So we're going to say my 2x plus my 29 should equal my 5x plus 20. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is look for like terms to combine, which sometimes we look at that and we go, oh yeah, there's definitely like terms to combine because I've got a 2x and a 5x, those are like terms. 29 and 20, those are like terms. But remember, to combine like terms, they have to be on the same side of equals. So if I look at the left hand side, I can say, nope, there's no like terms there. When I look at the right hand side, nope, there's no right, there's no like terms there, which means I don't have any like terms to combine. I'm going to start moving my x's to get them together and solving. So I'm going to move my smaller x to keep things positive by subtracting 2x on both sides, which is going to leave me with 0 plus 29 equals 3x plus 20. Now I need to get that 3x all by itself, so I'm going to use my subtraction property of equality. And I'm going to get 29 minus 20 is 9. 3x plus 0 is just 3x. I'm going to divide both sides by 3, which is going to leave me with 3 equals x. Okay? And so we found x. It also wants me to find each angle in the picture. So I'm going to substitute a 3 in for x so I can find each of those angles. Okay, so I'm going to say 2 times 3 plus 29. 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 plus 29 is 35. So this angle here is 35 degrees. We should get the same thing over here. When I do 5 times 3 plus 20, 5 times 3 is 15, and 15 plus 20 is also 35. So let's see, did we, we got them both equal, which is what we said we should because they're vertical angles, so they should be congruent, which means they should have equal measures. We found x, and did we find each angle in that figure? I would argue we did not find each angle in the figure. If you watched the last video, we said sometimes you'll come across hidden linear pairs that you don't always think you need to use, right? If I cover up this much of the picture, I can see I have a linear pair here. I have an angle here that I didn't find, and it does say to find each angle in the figure. So I do need to find this angle. Now these two angles share a vertex, they share a side, and along the bottom, their non-shared sides make a line. So they are a linear pair, which means they do add up to 180. So if I use 35 on this side, I'm going to do 180 minus 35 to see what's left for that other angle. 180 minus 35 is 145 degrees. Okay, to find, there's still one angle we haven't found. To find the other angle, this one underneath, I could do it two different ways. I could cover this side up and say, oh look, these two are a linear pair, right? because they share a vertex, they share a side, and their non-adjacent sides make a line. Okay, so I could say these two are a linear pair. So together I know they make 180. 180 minus the 35 is 145. Okay, now the other way I could have done that is just said once I found this one, I know that these two are vertical because they're across from each other. So I know they have to be the same. If one's 145 degrees, so is the other one. Okay, hopefully that helped you if you are struggling with vertical angles. Thank you so much for watching.